Anarkata Tradition Anarkata is inspired by the rich history of Black-slash-African politics and resistance, stretching all the way back to pre-colonial times. Nomadic African societies created non-hierarchical formations and intercommunal villages. Stateless Africans used decentralized methods to defy the reaches of African empires. Refugees of the Saharan and Atlantic slave trades migrated across borders and territories to avoid capture. Black captives in the gender-segregated hold of slave ships forged queer relationships with one another. 17th century black pirates in the Atlantic sailed outside the jurisdiction of the law and bled empire of its resources. Slaves in the Americas fled from plantations and created their own localized maroon communities in their quest for freedom. Slave uprisings shook colonial society and constantly threatened the white power structure. Black trans people continued to transgress the colonial gender binaries imposed by white colonizers. Black and African spiritual leaders challenged the rich colonial norms defying modern gender constructs and calling forth earliest attempts at self-determination. Many black Africans resisted European colonization through decentralized guerrilla warfare. Black women as a whole gave rise to the modern feminist movements that challenged white supremacist patriarchy. Black trans women in particular single-handedly birthed the queer liberation movements of the 20th century. Race riots caused widespread damage to white property and contested the foundations of white power, even in the present day. The black tendency to defy rigidity, borders, hierarchy, and enclosure are at the root of the Anarchata tradition. Black feminism has provided the critical lens for Anarchatas to understand how our oppressions as black people intersect to leave some at the margins and very bottom of hierarchy teaching us to censor the overlooked and extremely vulnerable. Queer, trans liberation has taught Anarchatas to re-envision the way we inhabit and understand our bodies as black people. Beyond sexual and anatomical reductions forced onto us by colonialism and capitalism, pushing us to understand how and why our bodies should or could perform freer relations to one another and the planet. The Black Panther Party inspires Anarchatas to organize around the survival, political education, and self-defense of our communities at a grassroots level, and to integrate a range of radical contributions into our quest for self-determination. Pan-Africanism connects Anarchata struggles for freedom to all members of the African community, including the diaspora understanding black liberation outside the confines of national borders and tying our bodily freedom to the liberation of our entire homeland itself from the snares of neo-colonial and military imperial rule. Afro-pessimism, anti-humanism, and related frameworks help Anarchatas to understand the implications of our symbolic exclusion from the construct of humanity and the way this affects who we organize with and for, ultimately challenging us to look beyond humanity as grounds for that which makes us as a people and our struggle for liberation valid. Disability justice calls Anarchatas to recognize all our corporeal and cognitive makeup as valid and whole, and to understand our lived needs as arising not because we are failures, but because oppressive socio-ecological contexts have closed us out of access and therefore must be eradicated if we are to live our full, unique selves and do so autonomously. Prison abolition teaches Anarchatas that we must destroy all forms of enclosure and tear down the very material and imagined need of them in the first place, and that we alone are the ultimate guarantors of our safety. Finally, formations like the Street Trans Action Revolutionaries, STAR, or the Black Liberation Army remind Anarchatas that freedom can only be taken through grassroots organizing, mutual aid, and revolutionary struggle. Together, 
these histories and ideological influences have given what it means to be Anarchata its shape and form. They are what ground Anarchata politics in both its anarchistic tendencies and within the diverse catalog of black radical traditions. Through countless moments of defiance and flexibility, our ancestors made a way for us to imagine an anarchic radicalism that is unmistakably black.